you got started back in the 50s with the State Department. It's a legacy now. Music joins people together, man. Yeah. Everywhere. I mean, you were playing jazz at all these places. They probably hadn't heard jazz before. That, that's was, true. Yeah. In Pakistan, they never heard it before. They didn't know what to think, you know. They stoned the embassy from Cyp the Cypriots, stoned the embassy, American embassy. They said, send the Gillespie band over there. Wow, really? <laughs> Which was women and white, black, everything, you know, but they, we were the kamikaze band, man. When I first went to Athens, and we played a concert, really terrifying. And after about the fourth number, they were all in the audience, the same guys that, was, that started the revolt, and they, charged the stage after the end of the show. We thought we were gonna get killed, man. And they grabbed Dizzy, put him on their shoulders and said, DZ, DZ. I said, Lord, have mercy. So my, my initial contact with the State Department was uh, through another organization, um, I did, a, I did this competition, it's called Very Special Arts. Through winning that and kind of getting into the system, they, they reached out when they wanted to send somebody uh, with a disability overseas. You better believe it. Yeah, <laughs> and it was great. So for me, something that was interesting is when I, the first place I went to was the Republic of Georgia. It was fascinating for me to, to be a blind person, uh, a disabled person in, in, in the Republic. Part of my responsibilities was to, to show them that a person of, with a disability can still be Productive, right. shit, you know. Yeah. So I was able to share a little bit of, of you know, you, you're still, you're still plenty capable. I think the thing I'm realizing is I've always known I need music selfishly, you know, because it's so important in my life. But it's also just realizing how much more important it is for me to share it. 